my name is Grant Bishop. I'm with Trex Aviation Systems. Today, I'm going to tell you about Airboss, the digital airfield inspection and management system. It all comes complete on an iPad from Apple, and everything you need to do your airfield inspection is right here at your fingertips. We'll take a closer look now at how this operation takes place. Okay, here's the uh, Airboss imagery that you would see at your airfield. We've got very simple, easy to use controls on the right hand side. You've got a backlight adjustment for adjusting the system at nighttime so there's no additional glare. You've got edit, you've got add as well as the Airboss symbology as well as a help button down here so if you ever need support no matter where you are on the airfield this will give you 24-hour uh, access to Trex 365 support. The blue dot represents where we are. We're sitting in a building just off the runway right now. And on the previous inspection, you'll notice there are some items out here already, and we're going to zoom in on those. Once again, it's got all the same cool features that every iPad has. What we see here is that uh, some we've got two larger than uh, five-inch holes, a crack, and some rubber deposits. Now let me show you how easy it is to add an item. You're out on your airfield inspection, you find a discrepancy. You select Airboss, it presents uh, various menus for you to choose from. And so we'll take one here, we'll say, gosh, we found a, a three inch lip developing between these uh, holes. So we come over here to the sub menu, we touch three inch, and what you'll find is that now our, our hand is armed, and as soon as we touch the screen, it happens to be right there on the edge of the runway, the three inch item shows up there the and all that information is blasted off to the database for your reports that will later come to you via the internet over to your PC laptop or mobile phone now let's say I want to add some more definitive information about that uh, three inch uh, lip so I go edit I touch the item I want to edit up pops another menu and I go you know what I want to take a picture of this thing so I select camera. For the sake of this uh, demo, I've got a yellow jelly bean here. I'm putting back here behind the, the lens. And I snap the picture. That looks good to me. I use it. Up pops a notepad. I then want to say this is a uh, actually a five inch lip that I found. I want to add some definition here. It's a five inch lip by 12 inches long. That looks good. I hit done. Information goes and I select Airboss and that information is now tagged to that item. Okay, that's how simple and easy it is. Now, all that information is rocketed off and is now on a report. Okay. We've now sent the information to the database, we've completed our inspection, and now that report is instantly sent to the database and then pushed out to the airfield leadership. So we come in here, here's a report that we had come in this morning from one of our other airfields. Just comes in an email, you can see it's a PDF, and up pops the airfield. Once again, these will print out to uh, any size paper. But what you see here is the airfield with all the symbols that were found, whether it's FOD or a lighting, whatever the case may be, it's all located on this uh, overview map. At the top of the screen, it tells you time of the day, how long the inspection went for. And then down here on this grid, it, it's divided up by the various uh, areas of the airfield, taxiways, runways, aprons, and all the items on the left hand side here are all the various discrepancy items that could occur. As you can see they found some discrepancy items this morning. These are on the runway, all of these columns are on the taxiways. So anywhere it's green everything's good, anywhere it's red something was found. You want to dig deeper down and see what's going on. Every discrepancy is loaded on here. It has a picture, it has notes, whatever you need it's all located on here. And at the bottom of the report is your status page. Anything in yellow has been on there for less than 30 days. Anything in red has been on there for more than 30 days. Once again, all those dates and times and filters can be set up to your personal use on the airfield. Anything that shows up in green is something that was repaired. So let's take a look at how we do a repair. Okay, we've seen the report come out. It tells us we've got a problem out here at this uh, intersection. 
So the repair crew comes out, they take their air boss with them, they can use it to navigate to the discrepancies, because the discrepancies will stay on there until they're repaired. And lo and behold, we find the three inch lip, we set to fi fixing it, we repair it, and now it's time to let the system know that it's been repaired. So we touch edit. We then see repair down here, we say yes. If we want to add a note, the work order, etc., we put it in here, just like before, and we're done. And you'll notice that the 3-inch the, uh, lip has now disappeared. And that's how easy it is to fix a repair and annotate the Airboss system. Thanks again for watching this video on the Airboss system. As you can see, simple, easy to use, and very inexpensive. For a few dollars a day, this can be yours. Thanks again. Please use our product, and thanks for flying safe.